Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Boo to You Readathon. I am your host, your ghost host. <laughs> it's Emma here, the bookish princess, and the spooky season is almost upon us. I'm so excited to announce that the Boo to You Readathon will be returning for its fifth year. We started all the way back in 2018. And it's been so much fun, such a fun way to celebrate the spooky season, work some Disney magic into your reading throughout the month of October. If you're not familiar with Boo to You, that is basically the idea in a nutshell. Disney magic from the Disney parks, Halloween magic and reading. It's inspired by Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, um, which happens at the Magic Kingdom Park at Walt Disney World every fall. Um, they have a special parade called the Boo to You Parade. And just the whole park is infused with sort of spooktacular um, fun. Guests of all ages can dress up in costume and so many people do and they plan such spectacular costumes. There's special lighting and music and Halloween treats and it's just such a fun time. So the idea is basically to translate all that magic and fun into books. We've done different challenges um, for Boo to You every single year and I'm really excited about this year's challenges. It's pretty chill, pretty simple, pretty open-ended. So if you're already taking part in different um, uh, readathons for our October and you already have your TBR for the fall planned out, maybe you'll be able to, you know, kind of work it in with what you've already got planned. I am going to share with you my Boo to You TBR today um, as well as just some ideas for ways you could interpret the challenge. So there's one ride at the Magic Kingdom which is a especially perfect for Boo to You and Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and that is the Haunted Mansion. It's Disney's Haunted House ride. It is so fantastic though. It's like just so perfectly imagined and the script is so fantastic. The song Grim Grinning Ghost is so clever and fun. I actually just looked this up and it was apparently Francis Xavier Atencio um, was the Imagineer who uh, wrote the script um, and wrote Grim Grinning Ghost for the Haunted Mansion. His friends called him X, which somehow seems appropriate mysterious for the man behind uh, the Haunted Mansion. At Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party there are characters from the Haunted Mansion who basically come out of the ride and are in the parade. There are the ballroom dancers, there's the ghost fries, there's the grave diggers. I've always loved and appreciated the Haunted Mansion vibe at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So it only seemed appropriate for our challenges this year. We are going all in on the Haunted Mansion theme. I mentioned how fabulous the ride script is, and that is both what the narrator, the ghost host, says as you're traveling along in your doom buggy, um, but also the lyrics of that song, Grim Grinning Ghost. So the 2022 Boo To You Readathon Challenge is to pick any phrase from the Haunted Mansion script. So that includes the song or the spiel that the ghost host says and choose something to read based on that phrase. There are so many clever and spooky phrases in that script and in that song that you guys should have no problem finding something fun, something that will lead you to a good book. I'm going to leave uh, the script um, linked down below for Disney World and Disneyland. They're slightly different, so you can do whichever one you want. So if you want to just scroll through and read the whole thing and see which phrases stand out to you. You can pick whatever you like, but I have picked out five different phrases that I'm going to read to you and tell you what books I'm going to read based on them. Your cadaverous pallor betrays an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? <laughs> that is from, um, of course, the stretching room, which is uh, before you get on the ride. Such a fabulous scene, such a fabulous little paragraph. So many phrases you could pick in there. I decided to go with that aura of foreboding. And my book pick for this one is My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. You might have heard me mention in my past reading vlogs um, that I've been doing uh, a little Bookish Kingdom book club with my subscribers every month. I have a Discord group where we um, discuss it in in the chat room and then we also do like a video call at the end of each month um, to discuss the book. My Cousin Rachel is our October pick. We're going to be discussing it on October 30th at 3 p.m. Eastern. Perfect for, for Halloween, a nice little culmination to boot to you maybe. I read Rebecca and The Glass Blowers by Daphne du Maurier. I feel like I haven't found the Daphne du Maurier book that I really click with yet. Although I do enjoy her writing and her ability to create suspense is really fantastic. So I think that my cousin Rachel should have a great aura of foreboding about it. 
Although in the stretching room sequence, there are so many other fun like um, phrases. Disquieting Metamorphosis made me think of the book Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka, which I had read. Such a crazy book. Definitely about a disquieting metamorphosis or cadaverous pallor. That actually leads us nicely to our next um, phrase and my next pick. The Haunted Mansion has a library, which is pretty great, and your doom buggy takes you through it during the ride. Our library is well stocked with priceless first editions, only ghost stories, of course, and marvel busts of the greatest ghost writers the literary world has ever known. They have all retired here to the Haunted Mansion. So the phrase from that that I'm going with is only ghost stories, of course. I'd really like to read The Canterville Ghost by Oscar Wilde. This is supposed to be pretty funny, a pretty humorous ghost story. So I think it'd be really cool to check it out during Boo To You. Ghost stories are perfect picks for this year's Haunted Mansion themed Boo To You readathon. In the past, I read a Mark Twain ghost story. I did an Edith Wharton ghost story. It's amazing how many authors like couldn't resist doing a ghost story. The classic Frankenstein by Mary Shelley was inspired by a ghost story challenge. Mary Shelley, her husband, the poet Percy Shelley, and Lord Byron were all staying in a chalet in Switzerland and it was a rainy stormy night and they were telling ghost stories and that is how the classic was born. If you want to stick with Oscar Wilde, you could go with the picture of Dorian Gray. This is perfect for the Haunted Mansion because there's actually a picture uh, in the lobby that undergoes its own disquieting metamorphosis and always makes me think of, of Dorian Gray. The Canterville Ghost should be pretty quick to get through, but if I have time, I also was thinking of rereading this book. It's The Middle Window by Elizabeth Goode. This is definitely not your typical ghost story, but it is kind of a ghost story. It's been way too long since I last read it, and Elizabeth Googe is one of my favorite authors. Um, so I'm thinking it might be fun to pick that up again. If you're looking for a good fall season, haunted season, um, Elizabeth Googe, there's also The White Witch. This deals with magic in a really fun way, and also it has such a vivid historical setting. It's written during the English Civil War. So anyway, lots and lots of options um, if you're going with a ghost story. Now don't close your eyes and don't try to hide for a silly spook may sit by your side. Shrouded in a daft disguise, they pretend to terrorize. Grim grinning ghosts come out to socialize. My next one is that shrouded in a daft disguise. Isn't that fabulous? As I mentioned, one of the best things about the Halloween party is that you can come in costume and people go all out. They get so creative. Some of my favorite costumes from the party have been Magic Kingdom inspired. My brother and I went as the trolley people. My brother Athos went as Master Gracie from the Haunted Mansion, the one in that portrait that I mentioned. Um, and I have gone as one of the dolls from It's a Small World. Many of our Bucci Readathon challenges in the past have been based on rides and offerings and things at the Magic Kingdom. The big way I've interpreted those challenges has been to go and read the stories and the books that inspire these Disney rides that inspired these Disney movies and it's been so much fun because like that was always on my list of something I wanted to do like I wanted to go and read Carlo Collati's Pinocchio I wanted to go read Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll or the Mary Poppins books by P.L. Travers Peter Pan by J.M. Barry last year for Boo you I read The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham this is the inspiration behind uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride it was so good so if you feel like doing that deep dive into classic fairy tales Boo you is a great experience excuse to use and I feel like that daft disguise could be like your sort of park inspired um, costume, your fairy tale inspired costume. I actually bought this book um, last year for Booty Readathon but never ended up reading it. It is the classic Grimm's um, Fairy Tales. This is such a sweet edition. Uh, it's the paperback Puffins class. So anyway, since I didn't get to it last year, I am hoping to dip into it um, this year for Booty. Obviously, I am familiar with many of these fairy tales but I have never read the original Grimm's Fairy Tales. When you hear the knell of a requiem bell, weird glows gleam where spirits dwell. Restless bones etherealize, rises spooks of every size. From that section, what I'm going with is weird glows gleam. See, I thought I would try to fit in some of the books that are already on my TBR, and I was like looking through the lyrics and seeing, you know, well, okay, what would fit? 
I recently finished reading Out of the Silent Planet by C.S. Lewis. This is his science fiction fantasy, space fantasy um, series. I really enjoyed it. I did not expect to like it so much. It was so fascinating. And it is actually a trilogy, so I have not gotten to Paralandre yet, but that weird glows gleam. If you read this Out of the Silent Planet or you listened to my review back um, in my last reading vlog, then you'll know that like weird glows gleam, especially with like the Eldilla, I feel like it totally, totally fits. And then the last um, line from the Haunted Mansion that I picked, which I don't know, I just really wanted to pick this, is what the ghost bride says at the very end of the ride in a very eerie way. She says, hurry back. I don't know, I somehow feel like there could be a lot of fun ways to interpret hurry back. You could just read something that like put you in mind of the ghost bride. I've often mentioned The Custom of the Country by Edith Wharton. The main character of that totally feels like she is the ghost bride. Like that that's just it. <laughs> She's not at all likable. She's kind of terrifying. Or I was looking through my bookshelves and trying to think what fit. This is called A Spinner in the Sun by Myrtle Reed. I read it a couple years ago. She wrote Arsenic and Old Lace. Um, but of course that was made into a, a fairly famous movie but she wrote the original book and that could totally work <laughs> for a haunted mansion of Bucci readathon read. The main character in A Spinner in the Sun also gives me Ghost Bride vibes although the spirit of the book in this one is more sort of positive and reaching for the light. A Spinner in the Sun you know reaching for the sun whereas in Custom of the Country it's like the reverse. <laughs> That is not really a lift your spirits type book. This one is also fairly serious, but I liked that it had sort of an upward trajectory. My pick though for Hurry Back is, it's kind of a reach. It's again, a thing that I wanted to read anyway for Victober um, that I feel like could work. Inspired by Kate Howe. Um, she has been talking about it and it just sounds so fun. It's called The Heir of Redcliffe by Charlotte M. Young. And apparently this was like, super, super popular in the Victorian era. Like, bigger than Dickens, bigger than Thackeray, and that is just so fascinating to me. And there is a lot of movement in the story, and I, I did spoil it for myself. So, so I know that there is a lot of movement, and one of the characters, it looks like, is called back. So I feel like it could work, maybe. We'll see. As you may know, if you watched my video last week, I actually just uh, published my own book. It's a children's book called The Book of Cymbeline, A Kitten's Tale from Summer to Fall. And I was trying to think, is there a way I could make that work for Boo to you? There is that line from the Haunted Mansion, as the moon climbs high o'er the dead oak tree. And Cymbeline was found in a tree hollow at the beginning of September. But the Book of Cymbeline is really a very sweet tale. Very sweet illustrations that I did. It's not really spooky at all. <laughs> but if you haven't yet picked up a copy, you totally should. The ebook is out now. And actually, I did order my paperback proof. I'm hoping to, to get the paperback link up. It'll be available on Amazon um, so you can get the paperback or the ebook. I'll leave the link in the description. As soon as I get the proof, if it looks okay, I'm gonna make the paperback um, edition live, which I don't know when I'll get the proof. It might be by the time this video goes up or it might be shortly after the video goes up. But I know some of you guys said you don't really do eBooks and you're gonna wait for the physical editions. So if you've been waiting for that, it should be out very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'll be participating in Boo to You, definitely leave me a comment down below. Make sure you use the hashtag Boo to You Readathon. Um, and I will leave uh, my playlist um, of past year's uh, videos for myself and others. Always so much fun to see your TVRs here on YouTube or on Instagram. So if you'll be doing Boo to You again, let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. I'll talk to you guys again soon. And until then, I hope you have a magical and a spooky day. Bye. Oh, and there's a little matter I forgot to mention. Beware of hitchhiking ghosts. <laughs> I don't have a very good evil laugh. I need to work on my evil laugh. The Haunted Mansion, dude. The host, ghost host has a really good evil laugh. <laughs>